This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Sway in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen. We've been talking about this for quite some time now. Yeah, we live on the air. We live on the air. We've been talking about this for quite some time now. All right. Good friend of mine. Huh? Been around doing this for quite some time. Okay. Uh, From DVDs. Uh huh. To music. Coffee. Just becoming a all-around trendsetter. He's an energy guy. Have the B. I love it. Some people bring different attributes to the game. Mm-hmm. Some people are great with the artwork. They bring the graphics. They do all of those things. Some people are good with programming the drum machine. Some people are good with, you know, writing some really complex lyrics. Very true. Some people are good with creating a product that when you hear it, it brings you great energy. That's exactly what this man has done with his career. The one and only French Montana Woo-hoo! is here. Uh, to wait more on the show. What up, man? Man, just cooling, man. Try to stay, you know, try to stay busy and blessed. Let me paint the scene. <laughs> just about a week and a half ago. Okay. Here I am in Miami with Shaheen Reed and my man Cliff Notes, and we just hanging out. Chilling. And we just, you know, we was in the studio with Buster and Timberland and all these good people. Did you just start? Uh-huh. Hello, man. All right. And I was like, man, uh, we're going to go out. It's 2 in the morning, man. Where are we going to go? If, and, 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 and everybody kind of put their heads together. I said, I want to go to the hottest spot in Miami right now. Who's doing what? Okay. Shaheem said, I got it. And we went down to South Beach, and we came up on the club. Uh, what's the name of the club? Uh, Man, was it Magic? Uh, oh, oh, Cameo? Cameo. <laughs> yeah. And we went in the club, and I said, well, who's here, man? I just see, like, hundreds of people surrounding this one guy. Like they were just followers, and he was an evangelist, mm. and they were looking at him <laughs> to give them that's the gospel. Deep swag. Right? Yeah, but that's that was what a deep it, one. <laughs> but that's what it was. Okay, okay. And we going through the crowd. I see Har Pierre. I'm like, okay, Har Pierre ain't here unless somebody big is here. And I look up, yeah, shot the hall. you know, and pointing down at me smiling was the one and only French Montana. Man, I start cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't see Sway out like that. So when I saw him, I just came yeah. all the way down. I said, give me a hug, man. <laughs> so it was like two appearances because Harv don't never come out unless it's something big. Yeah. Right. And Sway don't come out unless yeah. it's something big. Yeah. So y'all just started laughing. Everybody yeah. was laughing at each other. That's yeah. what's up. And I'm about to get some of this drink. Yeah. Okay, but, but let me tell you why I was <laughs> laughing because, you know. It's good for your heart. You it know, is. French, French <laughs> and I, we, we started talking. Uh-huh. And I'm really happy for you, man. Because yeah, bro. even even like when you, you know, re- obviously recently because of Chloe, you've been in the news a lot. And what I always say. Yo, I'm just happy for well, French. French. Why are you? <laughs> yep, you've said that at every story. Yeah, yeah, yo, every time they tell a Chloe story, I'm laughing because... Whatever that it what, what what was that was that a real relationship or was that uh, I mean I mean Chloe my baby man we got yeah. a special relationship we always gonna have that relationship yeah yeah, yeah. definitely but but are y'all still y'all still have that special relationship yeah 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 definitely I mean, okay we, we, we talk damn near every day so is it more of a break or is it a breakup um you know I think you know I think when you have a special relationship like they just want to keep it away from the people mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's so yeah, yeah, you want to keep it out of the spotlight? Yeah, just keep how it do, away. How do you do that with a Kardashian? Right. <laughs> I don't even know, <laughs> but anything is possible. But let me ask you this. What did that exposure, what did you learn from that exposure? Because that's a whole nother level of exposure as um, an artist. Um, I just feel like, you know, they're the best at what they do. I love all of them. You know, I just feel like, you know, they created this thing that's like their own industry. I feel like they're they the biggest when mm-hmm. it comes to you know, the reality show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, as far as as far as minds go, it's just like it takes away from the music. Yeah. You yeah. know? So yeah. now I'm just focusing on my album, just doing what I got to do as far as the music. But, I mean, it helps. I mean, I'm on, the, um, I'm on like, a couple of episodes they're about to come out with. I'm on the one coming out this Sunday. Yeah? You going to be on yeah. that? All right. I get it, man. I smile every time I see you. <laughs> hey, man, when you start seeing Bruce going through that transformation, man, <laughs> did, did you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> man, I got nothing to say. <laughs> By nobody. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bruce. <laughs> Shout out to Chloe. Did, yeah. I a, did I get a manicure together? Happy birthday. Y'all never oh. did nothing like that? Happy birthday. I mean, I do get manicures, <laughs> but not that color. Not that color. <laughs> 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 nah, definitely. Happy birthday, Bruce. Happy birthday to Kim. Shout out to Kanye. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of yay, man, I remember when that um track dropped. Well, it didn't even drop. Somebody 
was in the studio and released that. What was the all day? Was it the all day track? Yeah. And, um, um, and I know you and Yay have been in the studio, right? Yeah. Did who produced that track? Um, the uh, uh, Vellus, me and Vellus, me and um producer um signed the Coke Boys. So you produce? Yeah. So have you been doing a lot of production for Yay or? Um, I mean we did we did like four records in the studio, and I guess the old day he 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 ended up um, making it the single. So definitely, I mean he went and took it and did his you know his yeah you know you know what Yay do he take a record and just you know he's genius so he made he take it from here to here so. I first just started as an idea on a regular beat, mm-hmm. and um, I saw him the other day. He said, "You got to come hear it." So I already know what he did. Yeah, he made it. He made yeah. it boom so bang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. He's the orchestra. He's the architect. Yeah, definitely. You as a producer, what does that mean? Are you programming beats? Or are you? I, mean, I, I honestly, um, I always been like that when it comes to music. Like I, w- I will always take something and you know do exactly what he do. Like with shot callers, like with um. All the old school records I be taking and spinning back. Yeah. So I always, you know, add the intro, then come under the beat to Harry Fraud. This is what you do. So I, so I always been like that as far as production. But I just like, even with Ross, when he did the Nobody joint, when we took the Biggie, mm-hmm. put, that, put that thing together, it was already done. It was like, here, yeah. like with the Yay joint, even with Puff mm-hmm. joints, like, you know, with everybody that, that I be working with, I just be having that, you know, that air for you good give, beats. You give them that energy they look for, though. Yeah. You know, that edge. French, could you break it down then for me? Because I feel like, just in this out of pure ignorance, to me, you came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of people may think that, but like your credentials as far as a producer, who did you, who was your mentor? Who did you come under? Like, how, how did you learn how to produce? Um, Honestly, I mean, I don't really like sit down there and make the whole beat. I just take like, all you gotta do is give me an idea and a beat, then I just add whatever else I got to it and make it into into a beat. I'm not an actual producer. that hit the MP, MPC. Okay. Yeah, oh, got nah, it. Okay, okay. I don't do that. I just like you know the hook. I'm the hook master, so I just put it. You know, I mean, put the beat right there and add like three beats together, and make them all into one. You, you got a song called Gucci Man, right? Yeah. With Ross and um, Lil Wayne. Yeah. Right. Ye produced that. Uh huh. Um. Why did you title it that? Um, Gucci Man, because the song is about you losing it. Mm-hmm. You know, when Gucci Man had went crazy that one time? Yeah. Mm. So that's a, <laughs> Yo. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was the whole concept behind it. Because remember, okay. I did, you know, I used to do the Ocho Cinco. Yeah. And yes. the, you know, okay. the silly okay. joints. You okay. know, after like three, four o'clock in the morning, you get silly in the studio. So that's that's, that's exactly <laughs> what that was. Yeah, that's what you got silly. We're just getting silly. Uh, I know Gucci went public once and said that Nikki, you and Nikki, uh, don't give him enough credit for your beginnings. Um, did you ever talk to him about that? Um, honestly, I spoke to that man probably three times. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I give credit to Deborah, Deborah Adney, which is uh, Waka Flocka mother. She she got all the credit in the world. And when I got my deal, I went and gave her a cut. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was standing up with everything I did. I never was disloyal to nobody. Mm-hmm. I feel like Gucci had, I mean, help with him or Waka and Nikki, whatever they had going on, it was a, a brick squad movement. Yeah. Uh huh. Not with me. I felt like I was just managed by Deborah, which was Waka Flocka, uh, mother. Okay. You know, for me and me, Waka Flocka did the mixtape together. I was more cool with Waka than Gucci. Uh huh. You know, I mean, but you know, people always gonna say whatever they're gonna say, but this is the real story. And um, when Deborah really helped me, like, Cause she was down south, mm-hmm. and I had New York already, so she helped me get get you know get big down there. So as soon as I got my deal, it was like a lot of things going on down there. So I just felt like, you know, you helped me get this deal. Here's your cut. Yeah, how anybody would do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you Gucci know. didn't help you get that. Deal. Nah, okay. not at all. all right, okay. so I spoke to him probably three times. Yeah, that's okay. about it. All right, um, man, French, there's so much to talk to you about. You know, when uh, I, now, now, what's your marital status now? Are you? I'm fully divorced. You're yeah. fully divorced. Yeah. So when you was going around with Chloe, you you, you, yeah. you were free to do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was still going through my divorce. Uh huh. I wasn't in a relationship with the person I was going through my divorce with. Uh huh. And then uh, you still communicate with your kids. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. All right. You a good father, man. What would of you? Of course. Big you, time. All right. Uh, but the, what? How did your kids respond respond to your success? They love it. He want to come to my show tonight. You gonna let him come? I'm out on. Yeah, of course. You gonna bring him on stage? Yeah, of course. All right. If, uh, it's, not, if it's not too ratchet. Okay, know. man, it's gonna be ratchet. You, you're French Montana, dude. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, Mac and Cheese Four. This is now the official album, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you fully completed with it yet? Yeah, I'm fully completed right now. We just try to clear samples. You know, I got Harry mm. Fraud. I got okay. Harry Fraud. He did the whole joint. Yeah. 
And I'm just trying to clear the samples right now. So you don't have an official release date yet? Um, they saying December 16th for now. Who are they? The the label. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. I, th- I thought you made your own decisions. Um, all right. This is what I want to do. I want to open up the phone lines. I know you only got a few minutes with oh, us. Sure. DJ Wonder uh, prepared a special medley of French Montana songs uh-huh. um, because you've had a very celebrated career. We're going to do about two or three minutes, and I'm going to open up the phone lines. 888-742-3345. Daydreaming. <laughs> Yo, how much you give, Max? 75. You gave Max 75? 75. Did you really give Max 75? Nah, they gave him 75, Bergen County. Oh, they gave him 75. 75. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you talked to Max? Yeah. Yeah, you talk to him all the time. Yeah. I always ask you that and you say yeah. Yeah, definitely. How is he doing? He's doing good. I talk, I talk to his mother a lot. Really? Man, yeah. tell him Sway said what up. No, man. definitely, definitely. Pl- please do. French Montana is here. We talking this mac and cheese for a project. Um... You know, um, which, you know, you, you're you in this era of, you know, single driven, uh, it's a single driven industry, mm-hmm. mm. you know, and uh, uh, your last album was a great album, but your singles outsold the album, mm-hmm. right? As an artist, would you like your album? Does it matter if your album sells as much as your singles do? Of course. You know. Uh, and that's the the, of course. the goal for mac and cheese for so yeah, people definitely. to you know because we all know French so that's yeah. why I like I laugh every time I see him because I'm happy for him definitely uh, he came up in this and figured out his lane but I also know that you know one of the things we talked about when we was at that club and man it's party it's brides everywhere I'm like French mm-hmm. all these girls are staring at you man mm-hmm. I'm uncomfortable <laughs> you know <laughs> I was like you and Molly right there I'm like I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> and uh, only thing French was talking to me about, yo, Sway, when y'all do that hottest list, man, just put my name in it, man. I've been working hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's important to you yeah. as an artist. Yeah, of course. Do you Big feel time. like people don't acknowledge you as an artist as much as you like to be? I just feel like coming out of New York, was, it was it was extra hard, you know, just, just just to come out come out of here and just make a name everywhere else where yeah. they don't play New York music, where they don't, you know, because you, you, you got to keep it real with yourself. They, it, the rest of the country took over. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, you know, there's only there's only but a few of us left out here. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, um real hip hop is is you know, is, is, of course is the best thing, you know, that was ever created as far as when it comes to the music. Yeah. But right now it's not that. Mhm. You know what I'm saying? And and, you know, and artists like, you know, Kendrick Lamar, artists like, you know, Ross, you know, everybody, you know, I feel like you no know, they doing it, but still when you look on them charts it's still all the the other guys selling. Yeah. yeah. And you know, getting so. the, getting the, the the radio spins. Exactly. Right? Yeah, definitely. Um, but you want to sell albums. I want to sell albums. There it is. French yeah. French Montana said Joshua's in Texas. What you like to say to French? Man, French, man, I'm telling you, man, keep doing anything. We down here in the South, you know, we screwed up down here, man. But I'm telling you, man, everywhere I go, they jamming French, man. You do your thing. Thank you, you bro. The interviews, man, you keep it real. Just stick to the script. You ain't in this, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, your stuff uh, makes sense, man. <laughs> for real, bro. Thank like, you, bro. Like, mess with you, for real, bro. And then you up there with Sway, shit, this to the top. Now, watch from this day forward. Where you go? Sway ain't messing around. Uh, you hear that, French? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, tell your team that, too, man. Uh, none of them come up here. All right, uh, La Shray <laughs> is on the line. La Shray, what up? La Shray, I am on the line. I just like to say that um, I definitely rock with French Montana, but my favorite joint was the Don Francisco. Like, oh, my Jesus, like... I just can't get oh, over Don it. Don Francisco. <laughs> yeah, that That's was my favorite about, right baby. there. And, I, I, you know, I listen to French because of my brother. He put me on to him when he was locked up. He heard him and he put me on. So well, buy him a gift then, for Christmas. Buy him the album. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could, but he just caught another bit. So I oh, can be man. waiting on that one. Damn. All right, man. This uh, is what I want to do. get the albums in there. Oh, they, they can get the albums in there? Yeah. He's still going to wait on it. It's, it's not a privilege to be in prison right now. Mm. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. Man. Yeah. Okay, that's real. Don't All be right. so hard on him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> French are optimistic. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.